transom mount, through hole mount, in hole mount. In this video, we will introduce some tips for installing a through hole transducer on your boat. Through hole transducers are mounted outside and through the bottom of a boat hull. It works with any engine types, including outboard, inboard, and inboard outboard engines. It can be used on both power and sail boats with any hull material. But the installation is more complicated and requires drilling holes in the hull. To be noted, plastic through hull housing transducers cannot be used in wooden hull boats. Wood swells as it absorbs water, so it may crack the transducer. Bronze through hull housing transducer cannot be used in aluminum and other metal hull boats. The interaction between the metal hull and the bronze transducer, especially in the presence of salt water, will eat away the metal hull and or the bronze housing. There are two kinds of through hull transducers, flush and external. A flush through hull transducer sits flush with the hull. The tilted element inside it will make the sonar beam vertical. There are 0, 12, and 20 degrees versions for different dead rise angles. An external through hole transducer extends beyond the hole surface. It requires a fairing block to aim the sonar beam vertically if the dead rise angle exceeds 5 degrees. For a vessel that is over 10 meters, there will be a hull boundary layer when cruising. It is a flow of aerated water along the hull. The transducer must be outside the boundary layer to avoid interference. Interference from aerated water flow typically appears as snow covering the entire screen or vertical breaks. To be noted, if you are using a wooden fairing block, do not install a plastic transducer. When the wooden fairing block gets wet, it will swell and likely crack the transducer. Next, installation location. The location should be after the centerline so that the hole below the transducer is always in the water. Make sure the transducer beam will not intersect the keel or propeller shaft. And it should not be directly in line with propellers. Avoid mounting near or directly behind water intake, discharge openings, strakes, fittings, or hull irregularities. Avoid mounting at the locations of lifting straps, trailer bunks, and rollers. Next, let's take a look at the installation location of some common types of boat. For displacement hull, mount the transducer one-third of the hull in front of the stern, and 15 to 30 centimeters off the centerline at the starboard side. For planing hull boat, mount at the back of the boat, and near the centerline on starboard side. And be inboard to the first set of the lifting strakes. For outboard and inboard outboard engine, mount forward the engine. For inboard engine, mount ahead of the propeller and shaft. For stepped hull, mount just ahead of the first step. For full keel sailboat, mount at the middle of the boat and away from the keel. For fin keel sailboat, mount to the side of the centerline and forward of the fin keel 30 to 60 centimeters. And that's the tutorial for through hull transducers. Through hull transducers offer different kinds of capabilities. Watch our other videos to learn more. Thanks for watching.